What's up guys? I've got an interesting video for you today. Part two of the world's most powerful flashlight. That is handheld. So last video with the iPhone 7, I showed you guys the Wicked Lasers uh, flash torch. This is a 4100 lumen beast that can light things on fire instantly. So in this video, I wanted to see how its little brother compares and uh, what damage it'll do to the Samsung Galaxy S8. So this has an organic LED display. It might react differently and resist heat even more, but I just think it's an interesting video. Oh, hey buddy. I just think it'd be really interesting to see what kind of damage it could do to this organic LED display. So I've got a Galaxy S8 Plus here, beautiful condition and uh, ready for some carnage. So let's go ahead and see what kind of damage this can do. And you better get out of here. You're black, you absorb heat more. <laughs> I think he's attracted to the yellow table. He hasn't seen it before. All right, so let's do this. So the old one like completely obliterated it. Oh man, we got a huge deadline. And uh, I didn't really want to light it on fire completely and cause a lithium fire here. But all right, buddy, come on. Attention time. We're trying to film a video here. All right, <laughs> hair everywhere. So uh, we're going to do a couple demos first. I want to show you guys that it can uh, burn things almost instantly. So this one is, I believe, uh, about 2300, 2500 lumens, somewhere in there, but it's also just as capable. It's much smaller too, which I like. So this is honestly a really great camping flashlight. It's only 200 bucks. Okay, you know, you really have to go now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and uh, hold your breath, cameraman. It's gonna get smoky here. So look, just a normal flashlight until you bring it in close and then literally starts burning instantly here. Let's see how long till it catches fire. Come on, buddy, no, get out of here. Ooh, it's on fire, there we go. It literally just lit up. There we go. Yep, it's burning, that's crazy. So literally start a fire with a flashlight. All right, next up the uh, Samsung case, something white, but it still will catch fire after a little while. So, ooh, it did lo just light up. I heard the flame. So not as effective on brighter colors, but uh, still does burn. So here's some plastic. It'll eat right through it. Look at that, it just cuts right through it right there. <laughs> warps it just so you guys can see the power of these things and this is this one let me show you guys the older one here so this one is almost twice as bright as you guys can see much more effective wow dang that's crazy it's so satisfying to cut through it though with the flashlight nice all right so we're gonna start off by uh seeing what this thing can do to the camera in the back so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the camera and uh, let's see how, how fast it kills the camera compared to the iPhone. That one was pretty fast. It starts to literally cook it. Man, this thing is heating up. Here we go. See what it sees basically when it's staring into the sun times 10. There's a lot of black in the lens. It's, there's a lot of black in the lens. It's, ooh, whoa, that was fast. It like completely foggy now. Look in the lens, look at how milky it got there in the middle. Completely foggy, I mean, it warped the actual color around it. It literally can't see anything now, but let me keep going on the back. You can see the light briefly. Yeah, dang, that's crazy. I feel like it's gonna shatter the glass here in a second. So hot. Ooh, look at that. Warps it completely. All the vinyl there. So, um, this could actually be a manufacturer defect. What if I were to return this right now? I'm sure Samsung would replace it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's not what I'm going to do. All right, let's go ahead and test it against that display. So, this one is a little bit more delicate, infinity display. We're going to have to see how it reacts. But without really placing it on it, Actually, let me put a brighter wallpaper first. All right, here we go. Samsung Galaxy versus the flash torch. So uh, this actually might be more dangerous than on the iPhone, but ooh, look at that. 
it starts burning into the OLED panel. Some sort of uh, warping going on from the heat. Got a little dot there. It doesn't react the same as LCD. LCD kind of like burns through right away. So is this something that goes away or is it going to stay is my question. Yeah, it doesn't bounce back like an LCD does. All right, let's keep going. It's basically a massive amount of heat being directed right at the OLED panel. Ooh. Ooh, it's starting to burn in. Yeah, it doesn't really react the same way as the iPhone. Let me grab the stronger one. All right, here we go, even more power. Starting to warp, that's crazy. Dang. Oh, look at that. The screen is off and that's still there. I have no idea what that is. So an organic LED display completely is different and it's not that odd actually. Wow, I have no idea what that is, but display is still working. Um, interesting, it's like it's delaminating the organic LED panel from the actual top portion of the display. So I'm going to keep going here for a little bit. Ooh, it's spreading. Yeah, it's definitely like delaminating or something. It doesn't look as gnarly as the iPhone one and it's not actually touching the uh, glass underneath as the screen part is still working. Ooh. Whoa, there we go. We just burned through it. Look at that. The laminates is finally reaching into the organic LED panel. It is so hot that that's what's going on. Basically, the phone is catching fire from the inside. If I were to leave it here longer. Ooh, I don't want this thing to like blow up in my face. Oh, man. All right, so look at that that looks beautiful it's like this gold uh, tint it literally looks like someone painted gold spray paint onto this display what the heck very interesting still working though you can still move it even right in the spot just can't really see anything all right and uh let's continue here so getting a really nice gold patina beautiful little wallpaper it's very interesting the way that this screen technology reacts to the heat. So I'm just gonna keep holding it for now. And uh, hope it doesn't blow up. It is activating the display. Taking much longer than I thought. Ooh, you see that? It's burning through the actual organic LED panel. Ouch. I'm just surprised it's working in the background while its face is literally being melted off. All right, let's kill this thing. So I'm gonna put it here and leave it. Um, just kidding guys, I was saying that in my last video, I'll leave it and I kept moving it, I know. But alright, I'll actually leave it here, so... Buddy, get out of here! There's about to be a lithium fire, go! Go, I'm not trying to be nice. Oh my gosh, look at that, this is actually like a 3D uh, effect in the display. It looks like it goes in like a centimeter in, that's crazy. Very interesting, so... Uh, I think display is, is shot. Yeah. Touch panel no longer works. I'm not able to get anything out of it. Okay, cat's gone. Let's keep going. Wow, that is growing fast. Let me put it down here. It's typing a pop-up 867. <gasps> no, the display is fading. Did you see that? It started going black for a moment. Oh my gosh. If you actually look, well, not that you can see when it's on it, but the display kind of started raising. It's expanding. It's a ticking time bomb, literally. We've got some artifacts on the top now, actually. So you can actually see the line going down. There's like a greenish line. Ooh, display is going dark. It's literally like expanding from the side. There's a huge hump. I'm guessing the glass is separating here. There's like a big bump here. Ooh, ooh man, it is really growing. <laughs> This flashlight's actually uh, sliding off. I would say the Samsung is more resistant to this than the iPhone, for sure. It reacts in a different way, but the glass is uh, more resistant to heat. I can definitely tell that. I don't know, it's not going through to the battery, so 
I guess uh, that's it. I would have liked it to explode, but it's gonna take too long here. The result though is a bit interesting. I've never seen anything like it. It's a huge bulge and the glass actually conforms to it. It's very smooth. It's like an art piece here. I like that. Modern art. It's going up for sale, guys. If you guys want to grab this, I think the starting bid will start at $500. So, um, yeah, there it is. Flash Torch Mini. Not as powerful as the original, but still can do some damage. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great Saturday. Peace.